I'm Ian. And I'm Adam. This is Pixel at Dawn, and this is the dawn of Strength of the Sword Ultimate. If you're unfamiliar with our Dawn of series, and um, don't blame yourself because we haven't done any yet. Well, it's true, it's true. Unless you're watching this in the future. Greetings from the past. Yes. Say hi to the Ant Overlords. This is where we play all our pre-release uh, in development stuff, so like Greenlight, Kickstarter, all that and stuff. And down the pub. Yeah, anyone we can get hold of who would give us any kind of game, basically. On that front, full disclosure, this is a demo we've been sent by the devs at iVent Games. Uh, after we had a good play at EGX a little while ago, we really enjoyed it and we wanted to share it with you too. So, Strength of the Sword Ultimate, what is it? It's um, an arena-based spectacle fighter. Opticians beware. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, and with tactical and skill-based combat. It's got elements of Mitsurui Kamui Hike, Ninja Gaiden, Devil May Cry. And, and of course, um, the, the seminal release from uh, Platinum, uh, Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> yeah, Although maybe that's just me. There's the Metal Gear reference. Shush you. <laughs> So, um, I guess we just jump in. Uh, yes, I think that's probably best. Hold on to your butts. So we get the story here. Once upon a time... There was a circular wood-burned kingdom. Yes, with a beautiful white castle and a benevolent deity. The god of spanners and lightning bolts. Something like that. In the east, because evil always lives in the east, there was another castle. Whoa. That, with a big guy with a flaming... Hammer underneath. Lovely. Go forth, my demonic hordes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> they You're all like, 2D. They dislike the architecture, so they hate it with that hammers. castle's crap. Well, so uh, our deity said, well, yeah, well, I have war golems, so let's see how you do with this. Oh, said the little demon guys. And here we are. Right. Hmm, well, let's make like Wolf and go with Gladiator. So, it's a beautiful landscape we've got here. Big, big spiky spikes. Spikes of evils. So, uh, Goblin Scout. He's a lanky fellow. He is. Right, so, let's get to drubbing. I think that's something we should do. So this is um, a souped up version of a PS3 game called Strength of the Sword 3. Might have played it. It was uh, available on PSN. Still is, if you fancy playing it. Um, but this is sort of Strength of the Sword 3 plus 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 plus. Um, Hyper it's Ultimate Edition. Yes. And it's available on the PC, which is always plus points in my book. So... As you can see, it's got a little bit sort of wearing its influences on its sleeve. It's got a little bit of a, you know, the From Souls games, uh, Bloodborne, all that kind of stuff. Very much based on dodging and what the hell did you do there? <laughs> um, I stylishly <laughs> cut him to ribbons. <laughs> yes, that seems to be the case. So, we've got Adam playing this because he's got a lot of experience in things like uh, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Devil May Cry. Bayonetta, and all these games where you hit a million buttons and things die. It's not that difficult, you wimp. It, it, it is It is if you're you're me. Well, that's probably the way to put it. Ooh! Stab in the back. Nasty. Lovely. Well, you don't have to worry about your acupuncture bills. Yes, <laughs> very much so. So it's uh, very much choppy choppy, hack and slash. But there are other... <laughs> what? I just got the box then. <laughs> have, wow. you, have you not seen that before? No. <laughs> So I have played this, um, but I'm not Bonk. subjecting you to it. <laughs> um, it's quite good fun so far. It, hey. It's 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 pretty funky. Oh, I better move. That guy's got a gun. He's got a gun. Yes, I have throwing knives. Yes, you do have throwing knives. Uh, well, you did have throwing knives. Well, he's got them now, in a, in a sense. <laughs> in a sense, you seem to stick out his shield as well, which is quite nice. Oh, whoa! Levels of detail. You cheeky git. <laughs> So, this, we were talking about Kickstarter earlier on. This game has already been successfully Kickstarted. Which is a shame, because I would have backed it if I'd have known. Yes, same here, same here. But oh well. Uh, so, uh, 
It's coming. It's on its way. It's on its way in, ladies and gentlemen. honest. So, uh, keep an eye out. Expected to descend from the heavens to uh, push away the demon hordes on your hard drive very soon. Excellent. Deadly Enforcer. Mm. Seems to be what you are. Funky. Excellent. Right. Next. Apparently, if you run, then you dash, then you jump in the air, you get uh, aerial stabbo in the face. Ah, well, that's always nice. Brilliant. But back to actually playing it, um, it handles very nicely. It, it, it's all very sort of immediate. There's no sort of lag in terms of I hit a button and he has to wind up the sword for an age. That's true. That's um, true. It seems to go very well. Uh, so, so what you can see here, probably should have mentioned it the first time round, uh, there's two loadouts here. That's just sort of preset things. And the full game, as we understand it, you, get, uh, you can build your class however you like. It's just basically, here's a load of armour and weapons and stuff. Yes, basically um, slap together your own war golem as if it was um, magical, deadly um, Meccano. Oh, well, yes, yes. Except don't make cranes out of it, that won't help. No, I don't know, unless you want to uh, carry a load of uh, demons and just drop them in a pit. <laughs> I'm not sure the game extends to that <laughs> level. <laughs> it's not It's not, not the Lego game. Or but I, I think what they've gone for here is two relatively different archetypes of play. So you've got the gladiator getting close, turn people into uh, prime cuts of meat. Yes. And uh, gunner, which is shoot the mans. With your sh shield, which has a gun in gun it? Gun shield. Shielding. Gun shield. The and, new technology. Uh, basically a lance that fires um, large calibre rounds. Yes. So on that front, pew, pew. let's fire some large calibre rounds. Yeah. I do like the effect in the sky. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I haven't really noticed that. It's almost like that sort of water damage look almost. Hey, Adam. Um, let's stop. It's hammer time. Oh. My corneas, they ache with the amount of eye roll I've just done. <laughs> So would you believe this is actually by a two-man team? Uh, we met one of the devs. Uh, the as I say, I would. I met one of them. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, but there aren't many more devs. Is what I'm saying. It's, t it's a two-man team. Uh, the guy we met at EGX was the uh, art guy, so he's responsible for this lovely painterly style we see here. Um, and he was uh, he's a really nice guy. Um, he was he was entertaining to talk to. Yes, uh, a little crazy, but I think you have to be a little crazy to develop games these days. Uh, yes, no, he he was he was uh, fun to talk to, and he was very enthusiastic about the game. Yes, oh, well, that's good. That's what we like to hear. Well, it always helps if you if you have sort of faith in what you're what you're doing. He it very obviously did. <laughs> that's very and much true. And he was more than happy to regale us of tales of people playing it and getting battered um, wonderfully, and indeed coming up with things that they hadn't even considered. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Uh, what was he saying in there about uh, sh like using the shield? So, uh, uh, apparently in one boss fight, the guy was doing this, basically, and firing himself back out of the way of the one boss's projectiles. Oh, yeah. So he's basically using it to sort of air boost himself. Yeah, pretty much aer aerial dodging while being offensive at the same time. Which is just ridiculous, and that's, that's not designed to work that way. He just found it to work that way. Within the scope of a, of a sort of... A, 15 minute demo of a TGX, which is just insane. You can't you just go, uh, play the game. Ooh, but your storm of annihilation now. Mmm, yeah, I've gone up in the Metal world. Metalvis will be concerned. Um, I don't know. George R. R. Martin is busily writing down the name of his next book. Right? <laughs> Winds of Storm of Annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> a game of. So, uh, there's three levels in this demo and then a bonus level. So, we'll s the only way you get to the bonus level is by killing everything without dying once. So, if I can do the next level without dying, we'll go straight on great. If not, we'll cut it out and just tack it on the end, on like the end. shameless goits. Which is always nice, isn't it? Yep. Because we wouldn't want you to miss out. No, you wouldn't want to miss me getting absolutely crushed by the absolutely. boss. Absolutely. So, right, jump in. Oh dear. <laughs> Mana charge. And power slash. Um, mm. Not very good for the training dummy, sir. XX forward and destroyed X. out of the comic book frame. <laughs> <laughs> That's always handy. Well, let's stick with the gunner. Okay. There's a guy on the roof. Dark Knight. Oh dear, it's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Doesn't look like Bruce Wayne. No, I don't think that's Bruce Wayne. Perhaps it's his brother Barry Wayne. <laughs> Barry Wayne. Death is in the air. Oh, da, oh da, death da, is da, in da, the air. Oh god. 
Eat gun lance, you prat. So yeah, dodging is important in this game. If that hadn't already become clear. Dodging and or blocking. Does he have a grappling hook? It looks like a grappling hook, but I think it's just a mace. Oh dear. Maybe you can just use it as both. Maybe it's like a scorpion in disguise. Get over here! <laughs> You'd be surprised if that happened, wouldn't you? Uh, yes! Yeah, surprises! Whoa! Especially if you did it while it was in the air. <laughs> so he's got yeah, two health bars, insane. this one. Um, oh! Yeah, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. No experimenting. <laughs> okay, I will just drop him then. Just drop him. Whoa! That is a nice fire effect. It's a lovely fire effect. And graphically, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. in in the love spuds. Nice. Oh, you're doing a fantastic job. But you don't get nice with your the gunner loadout. Basically. Well, no, that would be a little uh, overpowered in the yeah. range. Oh, git. Here is your ranged uh, gun and your other ranged gun and also some knives. <laughs> yeah, that would be too much. Get out of the sky, you twit. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. Oh, it's in the sky again. Oh, I'm going to back off from him here. Whoop. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Get oh. lost. <laughs> you right, big evil bastard. Ah, so we won't have to do any editing magic. Whew. <laughs> <Fantastic. laughs> hold on, hold on. What was Wait. that? A storm of sweat, I think it was. <laughs> No defence! No defence at all. <laughs> I would agree with that. that. Oh god. That is the Adam style of play. <laughs> Shoot first, check wounds later. Yes. Right. So, so this is going to be a bit of a... Uh... Meat grinder. Yeah. I th I th well, although there's no meat on me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So on that note, I guess I lower my hand into the uh, toaster of this <laughs> bonus level. And push the switch on. Here we go. Ooh. Enemies will work together, form tactics, analyse and adapt, exploit all flaws in your playstyle. Never give up. I don't have anything in my playstyle other than flaws. You have a playstyle? <laughs> <laughs> the Epic bonus level! <laughs> right, so we used the gunner for two levels and kind of cheesed it. So let's... Um, Let's really slam my tackle in the door and go gladiate it. You've slain all in your path. Relentless, unstoppable. But you are not a warrior. You are a mindless weapon. And here, in this sacred place, you will be stopped. By uh, a League of Legends champ. Oh, oh it's Ergot. It's Ergot with like, extra spikes and things. The mechanist. Okay. At least he's not the machinist, because he'll be really, really thin. Oh, that's true. So those bats are a problem, aren't they? Yeah, he seems to have stolen them off Bruce Wayne from earlier. <laughs> yeah, basically, if I don't get rid of them, they will slowly chip away at my health. Yes. That's problematic. Which, that are not good. Yeah, don't get hit by the big flaming mallet. <laughs> or his uh, flame breath, it seems. Oh, yes. What? Oh no, oh no, this is gonna smart. <laughs> oh god. Splatto. <laughs> what? So, one of the things the guys have really emphasised about this game is they've gone for a really old school latitude, so they're looking to. No pay to win, no sort of hey, listen, checkpoints, yes. anything like that. It's beat the game. And and uh, it, it is about beating it and not letting and it beat you. And being beaten, oh yes. god. As I say, not letting it beat you in the face. Oh, come on, you cheeky swine. <laughs> so the full game has a survival mode, PvP, and a dark mode, which is like a sort of tournament PvP mode. Um, so there's plenty to go at. You, you, you do get a, a certain sense of value with the amount of stuff they put in it. <laughs> I, I remember reading about the original uh, Sword sort of 3, that there was a, a an element of, when you got to a certain level, I think it was like Wave 36 or something? I think that's probably in the survival mode. 
they didn't actually know whether it worked after that because no one had gone <laughs> that far. And I, I'm all for that kind of thing. Because it's all algorithm based rather than specifically designed in a certain way. Hey look, you've got him down past half of his first health bar. How wonderful. <laughs> See, the problem is, he's been quite a sod and locking off bits of where I could move by setting fire to it or having spikes coming out of it. Yeah, I mean, what the what Def said to me at EGX was that whenever he starts casting, so you get these sort of red spots on the ground. Like that? Is that uh, you just dodge, 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 don't die, kind of thing. <laughs> it's all about technique. What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> very close. Oh, yes! Yeah. <laughs> I will tread on your face, he says. On your face. Basically, if I can get him past his. Yes, I'm on the second health bar. That's all I wanted to achieve. Now you can retire happy. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, kick in the face. Good challenge, though, this. Oh, yeah. Is I it... imagine if, if I had, like. A couple of hours, I could probably do it. <laughs> but it, it shows you that the game is both um, challenging, but that there are bits that you can do as well. Because you wouldn't want to play the first bit and think, "Oh, I did that. That was, that was easy," uh, and then not realise that. I this think is if, if you're not careful on the, even the first. Oh, there we go. Hey, oh, yeah. oh no! I have a tiny, possibly. Yes, I have a tiny, <laughs> tiny little sliver of health yeah. left. Yeah, you, you can kill him with that, surely. I know you don't. Oh. You tr tried your luck too much there, because that was the try your luck mechanic. Yeah. If he, if he keeps uh, hitting you. I th there we go. I think it <laughs> kind of glitched because I couldn't get off the floor. <laughs> so uh, the try your luck mechanic is uh, around. You keep stabbing him, but if you keep stabbing him, then. The, the release button steadily sort of shakes and gets bigger, and if it gets too big, um, you will be punished by whatever you're latched onto. How did you find that, Adam? Uh, very good. I, I, I can see that being um, quite nicely stressful. Yes, I mean, I can definitely see us playing that cop and... Uh, me and dragging you, kicking and screaming. Well, no, it'll be me who's screaming, but... <laughs> I was going to say, who will be screaming there? It won't be me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it looks like something we could definitely enjoy playing. It, it, it looks like something I'd like to sort of sit down and sort of learn the mechanics a bit more of. So, I mean, I like you can see in this where he's doing sort of dashes in the air and stuff. Um, I'd like to know how to do everything so I have the full array of uh, death dealing options at my disposal. And I'll use my standard technique of throwing myself against the wall until it breaks. <laughs> Maybe or my you face. break. Yeah. Might be my face, it might be the enemy. But who knows, that's the fun of it. So, so this is uh, coming out soon. Uh, it's going to be out on PC, Mac and Linux. All um, next gen consoles. Egg boxes, cheese graters, pens. Fridges. TVs and uh, but but no mobile devices so um that's good. at least yes <laughs> but whatever <laughs> whatever they need to do to get money <laughs> so uh, I picked this up it's coming out relatively soon I don't know exactly when but I'll put links to their website and Twitter and all that kind of stuff in the description and you can go and have a look for yourself so uh, I would also advise taking a look at their Kickstarter campaign it, it's well worth the yeah, reading start is great I mean. Because um, the art guy has uh, put together a load of cartoons and the actual video and everything is uh, well worth watching. I think you'd actually quite enjoy that. So uh, so definitely I'll put a link to that as well and you can go and have a look at it. So uh, so that's pretty much us done. Um, if you enjoyed it, like, favourite, subscribe, share. Otherwise, uh, an otherworldly deity will call down a sacred machine of death and destruction, a.k.a. a war golem, to uh, rent you from the face of this earth. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, get that sub right in there, right now. So uh, all golems will come. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. I've been Ian. And I've been Adam. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.